previously on Amori. We explore the grounds of Sweetheart's castle, mildly asking for the password to the giant Sweetheart statue in the middle of the garden. On the side, we also clear an entire room of rare bears. Arriving at the event, we try to stop Sweetheart from making the saddest decision of her life. However, her alternative is to marry Hiro instead, which he clearly isn't interested in. Sweetheart goes into a manic frenzy and we have to put a stop to her before Space Boyfriend arrives to make the biggest mistake of his life. Welcome back to Omori and Caffeinified Procrastination. Honestly, if I'm ever gonna make a vlog, I'd name it Caffeinified Procrastination. Because I don't want to go into the horror parts. I'm actually scared. Anyway, let's get rid of this rare bear. I'm pretty sure this was left here for a reason, right? Or, you know, it could just be a trap for unsuspecting noobs or something. Heart? Huh? <laughs> Omori finally notices Aubrey. Oh, so that's why it's a... Hmm. I wonder if that has any effect on the real world. I, I just passed to, to Omori on a, on a whim, but I wonder if that has some factors in the real world. Maybe that's why Aubrey is such a, you know, so destroyed because the person she loves actually, you know, actually disappeared. I don't know if that's a factor. They might be too young for all this stuff I'm talking about. You found a teddy bear. Hey, don't we need that? Sweetheart, you are my queen. I love and appreciate everything that you do more than anything. Please respond. <laughs> I know I read this the last episode, but it's so cringe. It's actually cringe. It's so internet meme. It's, it's such an internet meme. Hi, I love you. Please respond. Why aren't you Why aren't you replying to me? Please respond. I'd do anything for you. Please respond. Anyway. So while I'm procrastinating, let's procrastinate more in this direction. Okay, who are you? Le Gasp! <laughs> Could it be? Aha, finally! Some company! Yo, 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 yo! I've been alone for so long! I, I don't know, how do you make a French accent? Sacre bleu. But, be, but after it feels like an eternity. I, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do a French accent. I, I haven't heard French enough in my life. At last, I have an audience! <laughs> Who am I, you ask? Please don't laugh again. Why, I am the great up-and-coming artist, Rococo! This guy's kind of weird. I mean, all of you are kind of weird. Let's get out of here. Wait, don't go! Don't please listen to my story. Excuse us. <laughs> please listen, I'm so lonely! I mean, you are in the wall. Ahem, <clears throat> right. Now, where should I start? In the beginning. <laughs> oh my god, how long is it gonna take? Was me. Crying in a pod in the middle of space. Uh-huh. Witnessing my home planet blow up right before my eyes. Superman, is that you? I can still remember it all so vividly. Fire. Fire. Everywhere. And then darkness. When I awoke, I found myself in the middle of a desert. Surrounded by a sea of brown sugar. In a strange land I soon learned to be called Orange Oasis. Even as a baby, I knew I was the sole survivor of my species. The last elf in the entire universe. So this is how it ends, I thought. Yet, in a stroke of luck, I was found but by none other than a young donut by the name of Sweetheart. She brought me to her family and they took me in as one of their own. Sweetheart and I, we grew up together. It was a rough child. So are you the childhood friend route? Are you actually a childhood friend route? We fought frequently, but she would always win. If I fought back, well, she would still win. Anyway, I learned to run. 
Anyway, I learned to run and I got quite good at running. But there's only so far you can run. Yes, it was a hard time. But even though that's through that suffering, I stood firm. Because even then, I knew everything had a purpose. I was sent to this planet and survived through one reason, one reason only. To repopulate my entire sp I don't think that, that, that works with one, one member of the species. I think if humans wanted to repopulate Earth, we'd need around 500 of us. Because if there's too few of us, the genes would get messed up. I mean, we'd still survive, but we'd get really sick really fast. But I think 500 is a good number. Uh, there is a lower minimum than 500, but 500 is the safe one, I think. I don't know. I, I forget that documentary. There is a conspicuous gap in my memory after this, so I'll fast forward a few years. You mean the writer forgot to write it? <laughs> or didn't want to make it too long? At some point, Sweetheart and I fell deeply in love, became engaged, and moved to the giant castle together. We were inseparable, her and I, and we loved each other dearly. I would do anything for her, and I mean anything. I was ready to spend the rest of our lives together, to grow old, and to raise hundreds upon hundreds of children. Um, well, normally I'd say what, but you do own a castle, so I guess. And have like hundreds of Sproutmo servants, so I guess it's not a problem. Thinking about it now, I wonder if I ever made that clear to her. Anyway, continuing my story. Alas, all the good times must come to an end. As Sweetheart's fan base grew, she and I grew apart as well. She began receiving gifts and letters from suitors all over the universe, asking for a chance to prove their love to her. Being her one true love, I was vehemently against this notion, but she wouldn't have it. Sweetheart is for sharing, she, she would say. Oh, well, rip Captain Space Boyfriend if her philosophy is sweetheart is for sharing. Also, no one shares donuts. You get one whole donut. When was the last time you shared half a donut? One night while I was asleep, Sweetheart and her servants tied me up and sealed me inside the walls of her castle. I've been wandering aimlessly through the darkness inside the walls ever since. Darkness in the walls, but has torches in his room. Surviving off old toast and tofu. Okay, tofu I understand, they probably drop it a lot, but where'd you get the torches and the bed and the paint? Fast forward a few more years, holy crap. And that brings us to now. Yes, you four are the first living things I have seen since that fateful day. Well, there's a hole in the wall now. Wow, sir. That's a really, um, shocking story. Oh, sweetheart. Why did you do it? Was I not good enough for you? Well, sorry about everything. We're gonna go now. Wait, I'm not finished yet! Uh, for the last few years, I've had a long time to think. I kind of gave up on my dreams and all that stuff now. It all seems so far away and pointless. Uh, well... <laughs> so, I've decided to drop everything and become an artist instead. Oh no. You picked the other life of solitude. <laughs> I don't think your life would improve by being an artist, sir, but okay. Uh, and since I'm just starting out, I suppose I can give you all a discount. What do you mean a discount? For my first ever masterpiece, I will only charge you 1,000 clams. What the hell? I don't even have a thousand. Do I have a thousand? I think I have a thousand. Well, what do you guys think? A thousand clams is kind of steep, isn't it? Please commission me! We, uh, we'll think about it. Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course. Take your time. Uh-huh. I will stand by... I will stand right here until then. He will... <laughs> like, he will stand right here until then. He literally stands there until... Fine, let's get let's get the first one. For my first ever I will charge 1,000, sure. Le Magnificent! That's not how French works. <laughs> Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. I won't disappoint you! We're not done yet. Okay, we need more. Uh, we need more adventuring. Anyway, I guess we'll have to. Yeah, yeah. He won't disappoint me. I guess we'll. 
I mean, is that why? Is that why the game put pots here? The game put pots here for infinite money, didn't? Yeah, they put pots here for infinite money. So you know, you could just do this. I mean, it, it's it's a decent amount of clams. And go back in and go back out. Yeah, yeah, you won't disappoint me. And then, yeah, okay, okay. So if I wanted all the paintings like right now, I could pot abuse, I guess. Yes, I'm procrastinating. No, I don't want to go to the horror part. Uh, let's go to the horror part. Go save first. Oh! Oh, you... You let me leave through the front door. Hi! Love! Sweetheart! So much so that I have acquired tickets to the most prestigious Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts event. She's married, bro. Although I was unable to obtain an ultra-rare impossible to attain front row ticket. <laughs> my reputable salesman has assured me that my ticket was still s will still seat me in a prime location. He has also assured me that the event will start very soon. So I've been waiting in line for many, many... Uh, 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 the, the, the event's over. I wonder if we should tell him. I'm sure that any moment the event will begin and I will be guided back to my seat by none other by sweetheart herself. Uh. Now, as I am the truest sweetheart fan, I could not even think of coming to the event without my most precious thing. Take a look at my beautiful... What's this? It's... Missing? No, my most precious thing. I will not be able to attend my dream without it. My dream event without it. You four! Since you are doubtly lesser sweetheart fans, I must ask you to find my precious thing and return it to me. You know it when you see it. <laughs> what am I looking for? Oh! Wait a minute! Hey kids, I couldn't help but overhear that guy Pezzy dropped something valuable, right? Something precious, perhaps? I might be able to help you with that. Hey, this guy seems awfully shady. What's the catch, shady mole? Ahem, as you may have already known, we sprout moles are very intelligent and high functioning creatures, uh huh. The smart of us is all the mayor is creating devices that will help sprout moles do their work at a much higher capacity than it was at previously possible. A fable device of legend that when complete will entirely revolutionize the modern world. He calls it the BED. The BED? What do you what do you want that for? Ain't no questions. Get me a bed first and we will talk. Okay. Wait, Kel, I don't know. He seems awfully untrustworthy. Maybe we should just give him a bed and see what happens. If you think so, hero, but something about him rubs me the wrong way. Uh so we're going to the mayor now. Oh, so the the events in this area, the side quests in this area unlock after you do the whole castle thing. Blast, where is the world? Where in the world is more my is my good for nothing son? Last night I asked him to analyze the effects of my latest invention, the bed, and I'm longing to hear the results. Probably fell asleep. I hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. Sleeping? <laughs> Wait, this is Pessy's room, right? No, this is not Pessy's room. Pessy's room is over in the left. This is the guy with Christmas. There's the bed, okay. Oh yeah, hey, it's snowing. Oh, because I didn't cut down the tree. Okay, where are you? <sighs> All this training's made me so hungry! Really wish I had some tofu right now. Er. Well, thank you for the tofu, I really needed that. In return, pre- Here's my most prized possession. Please take good care of it. You got a big air horn. Okay. Get me the bed. Use big air horn on the sleeping mode. 420. Eek! Who are you? Oh no, I'm late. Could it be that I... No. I must have overslept. Hey, what? Sprout most don't oversleep. Till now. This bed, it's powerful. Maybe even too powerful. Where, where'd you put the bed? Did you put the bed in your pocket? I better tell dad about this. Um, okay. Why couldn't the bicycle stand? Did, did we get this joke yet? 
Oh yeah, we got the joke already. Um. I'm humming the wrong way. Dad, Dad, I'm here. I. Did you just land on Hero's head? Oh no, on the thing. Okay. By the God Son, where have you been? I. I'm afraid I have some terrible news. What is it, son? You know it can tell me anything. Last night when I was testing the bed, I... I... I overslept! No, it can't be. If what he said is true, then... All my research, this invention, the bed, it's all too powerful! You see, my theory was that the bed would help Sprout most gain a good night's rest and the skin productivity throughout the day, but... What good is it if the very same invention causes Sprout Moles to lose productivity instead? The bed has the potential for greatness, but the current risk is too high! By the gods, what have I done? I cannot unleash this dangerous technology upon the world, lest our humble village might never wake up again! That's not how it works, but okay. Hey, you there, child! Take this bit away from us! You have no need for such power! Okay, we got a bed. Now be gone and speak not of what you saw here today! You know, you could just invent the alarm clock. You know, it's... <laughs> you invent the alarm clock and the bed at the same time, then you can get the double the royalties. Imagine that. Do my eyes deceive me? I don't believe it. It's a bed. A real, genuine, bona fide bed. I'm gonna use it right this second. Hey, hey, what are you doing? We helped you and you should help us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the attitude? It may not seem like it, but I am a mole of my accord. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but earlier, I believe I may have seen a sprout mole with a big pink bow digging through poor old Pessy's pockets. A sprout mole with a big pink bow? That sounds like Rosa! That menace Rosa is at it again! Come on, Amor, we gotta hand over the... Hand her... Gonna make her hand over Pessy's thing no matter what. Where's Rosa, anyway? Isn't Rosa's house all the way in the other side of the map? This is not... This is not Rosa's room, right? Oh no, there is someone in... This... This should be Pessy's room. Are you... Oh, yeah, you're Rosa! Rosa, the jig's up! Why are you here? I'm angry! Go away! Thanks to you, my dear sweetheart, run away with that blasted Captain Space Boy! Again! Ah, uh, sweetheart was only a few doors away. Now she's flown galaxies away! How will I follow her now? You can use Pluto's Space Emporium. Do I look like I can fly to you? I don't know if that was really our fault. Rosa, we know you stole Pessy's thing now. Give it back! This again? Why are you always after my sweetheart merchandise? I found it fair and square, so... It's finders keepers! Don't worry, guys. Let me handle this. Here we go. Hey, Rosa. Why don't you and I try to work something out? Ew! No, I don't want to hear it! There's no way I'm giving you the most valuable new addition to my collection! Now get out of my house! Huh, Rose has been difficult again, huh? Figure, she's always been like that. Here, take this and show it to her. There's no way she'll refuse you after seeing this. You got blackmail! Now leave me in my new bed alone. Our business is done here. Hey, I want to see the blackmail. Is the blackmail important? Contains details of secret use. Can we use it? Ah, oh, whatever. Can't. We can't read the blackmail. Huh. You amuse me. Such a fruitless effort. <laughs> Step aside, guys. I'll deal with her. Wait, Kel. It's true that Rose has a real pain. But I have some serious issues with using blackmail as a means to... Hey, Rosa! Check this out! Kale pulled out the blackmail. Ooh, where did you get that? I've changed my mind. Please, kind sir, I'll give you anything you want. Just politely hand over that blackmail at once. Ah, uh, yes, you want the bestest thing, right? Fine, whatever. Take it, it's yours. Now give me the blackmail. Hurry up and do it! You trade the blackmail for Pessy's thing. It's... 
Wow. I'm gonna need to get out of my house now. You already got what you wanted, didn't you? And I'll scram, I say. Cassie. Oh, you found it, my precious thing. Give Pessy's thing to Pessy. Thank you, I say. Thank you. I say again. In return for your selfless deed, I'll bestow upon you the ultimate gift. You got a sweetheart bust. Ah, isn't it beautiful? May it fill you with joy for the rest of your days. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, it's actually... It's one of Aubrey's weapons. It's really, really heavy. Like, really, really heavy. <laughs> okay, plus 12 damage kills all of your speed. And reduces your HP by 10. And your accuracy by 75. Is that worth it? Okay, is there a way to increase my speed at all? I don't think there will be. Yeah, no, there is. There is if I use the fox tail. But you go from 1 to 5 and it's not worth it. This increases heart, so it cancels out the heart problem. But the sheer goggles is... I don't know. I, I, I don't like my hit being below 100, so... Uh, I'll take it, I guess? I mean, it's just pure damage, but... I don't think it should be a problem. Also, let's heal our, our, ourselves a bit. Go for some bread. Better than you, better than you. I probably didn't need to do that, because we're... Uh... Alright, here goes nothing. A long way down. Wanna jump? Oh no, we're all falling together. Guys didn't have to jump with me. Undertale? <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm kidding. A white egret. Yeah, okay, so it's the... It's the flowers of the dead. Well, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Uh, not necessarily the dead. Mountains of books forgotten through time. The keepers of the library have long since passed. What was that? Oh, it was a spider. Okay, I'm getting pretty jumpy. Oh, He's giving me Undertale vibes, only scarier. Found a book of interesting. Read an excerpt. Sure. One by one, they fell asleep on their car ride home. It was a long day at the beach, after all, and everyone was exhausted. Mm hmm? Was the first to nod odd, and then the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, someone's head accidentally drops onto someone's shoulder. A sudden jolt awakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy, very, very happy, and he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. I think we're going from horror to depressing. But... I'm, I, it's a psychological horror game. I think this is the psychological half. Well, no, all of it is the psychological half. Just stylized into horror. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just keep going. Are, are these the cobwebs of my mind or something? Um. 
I want to I want to go cuz this one's a bit This one looks more missable than the rest if you know what I mean. You find a book of interesting? Sure. It was a hot summer day and all someone could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn about the area. Plant paint stains blotched the grass thanks to someone and someone's work. All day, someone watched someone lug planks of wood back and front to his dad's pickup truck. I, I don't... I don't think they're... Because the number of squares make it look like... Um... Like you, you put in letters to fill in the names. But... What's a one letter name? <laughs> he watched someone... I mean, it could be Kel, three letters, you know what I mean? Uh, I, 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 I don't... I, I Either I haven't been paying attention enough or I just don't get it. I don't know who these people are. Hammer his fingers over and over and made note that over an hour has passed since someone has climbed down her ladder. Not Aubrey. Might be Mari, because it's four letters. I will just be their moral support. As he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends would be asking for his help and he won't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone put some work into it. Someone knows this and agrees. But reluctantly, he slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of summer. Oh my god, the writing... The... The... the the writers are starting to flex their muscles here, boys. Nothing over here on the left, right? Alright, let's just go this. Okay. A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than... You know, I'm, I'm gonna go with the three letters as Kel. With, no, with none other than Kel holding up an orange juice box. He looks around his friends who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. In what seems like less than a second, Kel disappears out the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, leaving the sloppy wet tracks all across the carpet. Um. Mari's face turns red. I I'm, I'm just assuming, okay, I'm just assuming. Turns red and yells for Kel, but Kel is already long gone. Mari hands. Oh shit, it's another four letter name. Who else's four letters name? Hiro? Mari hands Hiro some wet paper towels, is that it? Looks like they're the only adults here. Yeah, yeah, it's Mari and Hiro. They're the only adults, quote unquote, here. And if they don't clean up this soon, the carpet's gonna stain. They'll have to deal with Kel later. I'm I'm just assuming guys, so if I'm wrong, please. Well no, actually don't let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. That was Aub No, that was Mari. Mari's the only spooky person we know. Um, anything else? Oh, here's another one. Oof. This is really interesting, but I'm getting really nervous. You find a book of interest? I what kind of madman would not read anything and just go straight down the stairs? You know, that, that, that'd be... That's like saying I bought a book and put it in a shelf and never read it. This year, someone was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to the small window. Every day, every day during class, he would gaze... I'll just put he... Listlessly through the opening, at the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere, into his own worlds, his own stories, and his own adventures. Hmm, that sounds like us. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same as any other. He started stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping out of his reverie. He looks away from the opening. Kel smiles? He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today, and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. His stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He won't have to... Con he would have to continue his adventure another day. Alright, so you guys might hear my keyboard now. 
because my controller ran out of battery and I don't know where the charger is and I don't want to ruin the mood so let's just keep keep going You, you find a book of interest. Read the next script. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. <laughs> the brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Uh, Hero jumps first, then Kel, then Hero again, then Kel again. The brothers gleefully urge him to join them, and after some careful thought, he warily agrees. He shuffles up the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. Oh, it's us! So the blank is sunny! Sunny or Omori, I don't know. Well, I'm 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 assuming these are X scripts from the real world, so it's probably Sunny. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder as his eyes fly open to meet with those of a black spider. Oh no, double whammy! In an instant, Sunny loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Or that is what he believes. Sonny shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. Left or right? There's a giant light at the end of the tunnel on the left, so we go right. L. Welcome to Black Space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need L. L. Oh no, that's a really low one. L. He's left. Part of the shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole. I'm gonna... I'm gonna back off the screen. Maybe we should have read the book first. Oh no. Okay. That wake us up. Don't forget it's in the toy box. Ah. All right, we, we we missed something over in the left. Okay, so I'm just going to reload and see what the last book had to say, also the thing in the left. Um, this one has a number now. Yeah, it's, it's still that one. Alright. Um, light bulb hangs from the ceiling, ceiling, wherever it is. Light bulb. Getting pretty juicy. It's not just a light bulb anymore. It's actually radiating. It's a it's a radiating darkness. All right. I I don't have a choice, right? Meow. Yeah, waiting for something to happen. Yeah. See. All right. It, the the one below it's completing. It's welcome to black. Yeah. Space. Welcome to black space. Uh. Get out of here. I'll be using this save file, but I'm just going back to read the, the entry we lost. We missed. Two days left. Good morning, Sunny. Holy crap! Yeah, yeah, I'm coming! You have a new message. Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. I hope you're doing your- you're pacing your chores. I don't 
think even I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Kel? If not, it's alright. I understand. Just stay things at your own pace. Stop knocking on the door! By the way, can you check the closest closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want? Keep? We'll probably just throw away whatever you don't want anymore. There's only two days left before I come pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Honey, bye honey. Yeah, th there is nothing here. There is something here. That's my, That must be what mom's talking about. Can't go in there. There's nothing else here, right? Yeah, I don't think... Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Hello? Hello? Sunny? Are you there? Yeah, let's open the door. Hi, Sunny. Top in the morning to you. <laughs> well, more like noon, actually. It, it turns out Hero's not coming back until around dinner today. So I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom is having me buy stuff at the faraway plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be funnier if we went together. Do you want to come along, Sunny? Of course you do. Come on. Let's go. Alright, horror, horror part is over, but I want to read that last book. Hang on. All right, so this is the one we missed, right? Yeah, see, there's a light over there. But let's read this one first. You found a book of interest. Read the next script. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. Wow, that is... Well, these days it's Netflix, but I guess... This is before... Uh, this whole time period is before all that. I mean, people still went outside in this game, like, what the hell? It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Sunny looks at the clock, 8 a.m. Two hours left. He would be able to watch with everyone until 10 a.m. with when his tutor arrives. Sunny grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll, only be, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. The wall feels hollow here. So, I know this is like a... Like a weird version of his house, because you know how in Sunny's house there's nothing here? But the wall feels hollow there, therefore there's something there. And the door over here in Sunny's house, you can't really enter. Like, uh, Sunny doesn't want to go through whatever door this is in Sunny's house. So, I guess that's a parallel. And the way I understand is we're going through this door first is because... You know, we went through this in our subconscious, therefore we might be ready to go through this in the real world? I don't know. Um, let's go back to the real timeline. I mean, to the real save file and let's go check out what the premise of two days left is before we end the episode, shall we? Alright, we're going to Faraway Plaza. <laughs> Kel smells! What the heck? What happened here? Dang it, it must have been Aubrey and the sc scooter gang. Sunny, be honest. Do I smell? Sniff, sniff. Oh no, they're... he's cleaning it up. Whose house is this? Okay, so this one is no one's house. Is this anyone's house? Oh, this is probably the pastor's house. I mean, I have I have to do this again. I have to check everything again. <laughs> Cause it's a different day, and you know how RPG Maker games work. Different day. Everything's new. Anything new over here? See, there's a there's a guy with an icon on his head. Probably a pet. Oh! We can play rock thing, the rock game. The Tamagotchi Pokemon type game. We'll do that in a bit. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza and 
the bakery and other mart. Lead the way, Sunny. All right, so I, I guess there's nothing much. Are you, are you leaving it? Thanks to all these donations, I think I'll be able to leave for the city tomorrow. Okay, so we could have done it in a few days, not immediately, but you know, we did it early enough. As I was saying, can you believe and her, but then, mm-hmm. What's your response? That was like the time we, yeah, and then, honestly, I think that, yeah, definitely. Oh, look, scooters. All right, uh, let's leave it there for now. I don't think anything's really changed aside from a few knickknacks here and there. But yeah, if you want to see what happens in two days left, maybe leave a like and subscribe for more. This has been Caffeinified Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.